smother him with a diaper. That's ridiculous. Diapers are too breathable. You gotta smother him with a pillow or choke him out with his own tie. Dude, we gotta be nice to him. He's a perfect first client for when we open our own place. Yeah, but how the hell are we gonna get this done in two days? We? <laughs> That's your department. Good luck, buddy. Guys, can I speak to you for a moment? This stays in this room, okay? I know that deadline's impossible, but they're planning on giving us the second highest budget fecality has ever had. Now this isn't coming from me, but just do what you have to do. In fact, the less I know, the better. Listen, I'm not the guy for this account. Mainly the whole part about me being a guy. <laughs> like, it's women's diapers. <laughs> well, yeah, and I'm just the creative guy, so like, I'm, I'm thinking two seniors in hammocks? No, you heard what he said. He wants all of us working on this, so good luck to the both of you. Oh, hold on, we're not, this no, isn't- No, 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 buts. That's it. Generally, we'd send you to a sensitivity training to deal with gender-specific products like these, but we don't have that luxury right now. Well, we've seen the sexual harassment video, so we'll be fine. Sexual harassment in the workplace is a very important issue, and not one to be taken lightly. We're about to show you some common workplace scenarios where sexual harassment can occur. See if you can recognize these everyday words and phrases which can qualify as sexual harassment. Sorry I'm late. That's okay, Becky. Have a seat. Oh, nuts. There's nowhere to sit. Hey, Becky. How about you sit on my face? <laughs> yeah, right there. Were you able to identify the sexual harassment in that scenario? Becky used the word nuts, which is offensive to men. And Matt and Rick are spearheading the Finesse Women's Undergarments account. Why do they get all the good stuff? Tony, you know it's women's diapers. Oh. I know.